Hello and welcome to a new part of our Open Computers short tutorial series. Today we want to take a look at how to assemble a robot. For this we first need an electronic assembler. This would usually require energy to work as we can see above, zero from 1000, but as we are in creative mode we don't need energy right now. If we open the assembler we are told that we shall insert a base part. And if we hover over there, we can see what base parts are. These are cases, also microcontroller, also drones, or tablets. Well, tablets are used to create tablets. Microcontroller obviously create microcontroller. Drones create drones. And cases are used to create robots. Therefore, today we want to use a computer case. As you can see, all three tiers are valid. Tier 1 is not necessarily recommended as you are very limited in what you can do. We of course could also use a creative case, but this is not really usable in a normal survival mode, so we won't use this as well. So let's take a look at the difference between a Tier 1 and a Tier 3 case. If I insert a Tier 1 case, I can see we are very limited in our options. But if I were to insert a tier 3 case, I can see I clearly have more options available. Therefore, the more you want to do with your robot, the higher the tier of the case should be. So plan ahead at what you want to do. So if we have now inserted the case we want to use, we are told that we need a CPU. For the CPU, we can again decide if we want a CPU or an APU. The APU being a combination of the graphics card and the CPU, you therefore can save a slot for the graphic card. So let's take an APU for now. Next we need RAM. And with these parts we theoretically could already use the robot. Of course the robot could not be used for pretty much anything right now. So if we hover over here we see a warning that some recommended components are still missing. This would be the BIOS, the screen, the keyboard, an inventory upgrade and a bootable medium. For the BIOS I just take the Lua BIOS which I already showed in the computer setup tutorial how to craft it. For the screen you only can use a tier 1 screen so if you hover over here you see that tier 2 and tier 3 don't highlight. Then a keyboard. The inventory upgrade is recommended, you don't have to use it if you don't need it, but for now I will just use it. And lastly we need a bootable medium. Here we have two options. The first option would be to use a disk drive and insert it in here, so that we later can insert the OpenOS disk inside the disk drive, and then for example install the OpenOS on a hard disk drive we also have to insert in here. Or, as an alternative, we can directly take the hard disk drive, take it to a pre-built computer, insert the hard disk drive, enter install, and now see as an option the newly inserted hard disk drive, C7 something, and select it. And now OpenOS is installed on this hard disk drive as well. After the installation is completed, we can remove it and see that OpenOS is installed on the hard disk drive. And we can now insert the hard disk drive directly into the robot without worrying about installation of the OS. Therefore, if you don't want to transfer files via floppy disks, you can leave out the disk drive and therefore save one space. So if we were to assemble this robot now, the robot could move, we could see something on the screen. We also have an inventory, but we still have some room for additional components. So on the one hand we can use additional cards, like graphic cards, data cards, network cards, redstone cards, internet cards, additional RAM, or on the other hand additional upgrades like the angel upgrade, battery upgrades, 
database upgrade or hover upgrade and additionally card container or upgrade container. Upgrade container allow for upgrades to be inserted or removed after the robot has been assembled and card containers the same for cards. So to emphasize this, all upgrades we insert here or cards we insert there are final and cannot be switched out after the robot has been assembled. So let's insert an upgrade container here and a card container there. And here, hmm, what shall we use? Uh, let's take a redstone card. Yeah, let's go for redstone card. And here a battery upgrade. And also a piston upgrade. Of course, you can add the upgrades you need for the use case of your robot. And if we assemble now the robot and take it out and place it down, we can see the slots provided by the containers. So now we could go ahead and say, oh, I totally forgot, I definitely need a angel upgrade and can insert it in here. So let's start the robot. We see the robot boots successfully and is ready to be used. So basically this concludes this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments or if you have further wishes for tutorials, please also ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Servus.